Hi, I'm Joel Lidgard, Ray Lidgard's son, and we got uh, got three trucks here, and Dad's the fourth. There's a 1978 model, torsion bars with small cam 290 Cummins with a nine speed, so she was pretty slow on the on the highway stuff. This was a Keith. Dad, Dad ordered this Keith bar, a, a steel bar, so which you would have heard Keith being an old customizer back in the day. So going, it's on its fourth block at the minute from America, ex-military surplus, big cam three, running at 400 NTC. And yeah, Dad put took the um, crowbars out of it and put airbags in it. It's Ch um, Chapo and John Haylock, they done that. And uh, yeah, this is a, this is the only truck I knew as a kid. Dad had it, bought it. It was what, six months old, was it, Dad? In uh, 1978, off uh, Gunson and Wall, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's all. I think he had this truck before he met me mum, so he's been in the family longer than anyone. Dad used to do Perth originally, back before he had what was the Prairie Dog, um, uh, FR 700 Mac, and, and he used to do the that Perth, which was Mally's Whirlpool, was Johnson & Johnson stacked on top, or magazines, depending. The road that was that route had gone across the Nullarbor, they started putting them on the trains, they were paying to put the, so Dad would just do changeovers with the train at Port Augusta, and then load steel or salt out of Wyala home. Yeah, so he bought, bought down out of metal manufacturers down at Port Kembla. For 35 years it just done Port Kembla to Adelaide. Oh, and, the, and when they had the wire mill down there, it's tube now, but it used to be tube and wire, KCR. Your dad just got back from Melbourne yesterday. It was soaking because he reckoned he wasn't going to get time to wash the truck. After COVID, dad got a bit crook. I started doing the Port Kembla to Adelaide, and then dad started doing just bits and pieces, carts hay, does a lot of hay, and um, just a bit of general freight here and there, yeah. Oh, it's a, I grew up in it. It was it's not it's a continuous memory. It's there's not one memory. We're well, laying on the engine cover and listening to like well, I got that old T600 of mine going two days ago, and we took it for a drive up and down the road. And just the sound of that PT fuel pump, you know, it, it just takes you back. <laughs> just remember laying in the bunk listening. My well, dad slowing down for corners when the highway was a bit, you know, you're going through lots of towns here just the sound of that grunt that these Cummins make. And I said to Jack, I said, oh, it's, it really sounds as good as a V8 Mac, and he just scoffed, he said, I reckon it was ridiculous. But I said, well, that's when, I said, when this is the only sound you've known, it's like a V8 Mac. <laughs> uh, like family holidays, this, this always come, well, every second year we used to go to um, like Harvey Bay for holidays, for Christmas, and Dad would load up out of MN down the coast, and. Off to Brisbane we go, we'd leave the truck in Brisbane. I'd have two, Dad would have two weeks off. We're lit. That was the only time we had off during the year. And, and then after New Year, we'd come back down and he'd buy a load of molasses and, and bring it home. And that was our holiday. <laughs> the truck come everywhere. <laughs> yeah, Dad got it painted, oh, I don't know, five years ago. Um, but didn't put too much gloss in it. When Dad had it, it was a bumper bar, it was a single stack. It, you know, it was, these are the two original fuel tanks on this side. They were just one either side. So Dad put a long range tank on that side. Put the two fuel tanks here. It's got um, double exhaust gantry. Well, it's not, a, it's air cleaner gantry on the back. That, that was all pretty flash stuff back in the day. But you have to remember, when this was flash, I wasn't even born, like, <laughs> when this was a big truck. We changed the front wheels over to 10 stud just mainly for maintenance and a lot of, bit lighter tear weight on the front. The uh, six ton up the front, even with this little thing. Yeah, I know, the original Kenworth, original Kenworth light brackets, you can't even get them anymore. But they're in the, they're an original Kenworth part. But yeah, other than that, it's just, it's just a truck that used to come home every week. <laughs>